Hey, I'm Jonathan, and I wanted to go through a pro audio tip for you. So I have a few tools for you. The Levelator, that's free. Audacity, that's also free. And then, you know, of course, I need a sample file. So what, I've, what I'm looking at today is, is a set of files. I've got the bottom two tracks muted. I'm going to mute the top, uh, my, my filter run. I'm going to just zoom in so we can see everything. And I'm going to hit play, and I want you to listen. So that noise that you hear, that's that's like car noise. And I'm going to play it again just so you can pick it up. Good morning. All right, so you get you get the idea. I'm going to mute it and unmute this just to show you the filtered version. Good morning. You can hear the difference. There's no rumble, there's no car noise, there's no fan noise. It's been filtered out. And what I've done to do that is I've used the built-in Audacity tool uh, called Noise Removal. So what I'm going to do is show you how to do that. I'm going to highlight a section. I'll just play it again so you can hear the rumble. And I'll go to Effect and then select Noise Reduction. Now, I already have a profile highlighted, so I'm going to say Get Noise Profile. And then I'm going to apply it to this entire sound set. I'll hit fit to project, and that way we can see everything. And just, just to show you, now I want to zoom back in on my project, and I want to show you the difference. So here we'll say effect and then noise reduction. I'm just going to go with the settings I have. I found they work really well for me. I'll hit OK. And it's going to process, and we'll see all of these little glitches go away here in just a moment. Now, boom, done. This track looks just like the bottom track. Now, that is the proper way to edit the audio. You'd reduce the noise first and then amplify it. So now that this file's done, I'd take my filtered file, this down AIFF file, um, I'd feed it into Audacity or the Levelator up at the top. And what Levelator do, it'll go in and it'll bring up all of the low levels and it'll compress the high levels and then it'll drop that file right back into the folder where it came from. So that, that would show up down here as the dot .output file. Now, what would happen if I amplified my bad file? Well, we'll take a look at that. Actually, I mute my top tracks. Mute, mute. And I'll show you the bottom. So the this top example is when I amplified all of the noise. And I'll, I'll give you a listen. Good morning. So a lot, power, a lot more powerful signal. You know, everything's nice and level. This is the signal that you'd want to put out to a podcast. Now, here is the amplified filtered version. Good morning. So you can hear the difference. Let's just start right at the beginning. Good morning. Very, very crisp, right? Because I did the proper order and I filtered the noise out before I amplified it. Now, that doesn't mean that Audacity can't handle this. You know, I could say effect and do the noise reduction and say get profile and then filter this, right? No, no problem. It'll do that. But it's not going to be as clean as it would be if I filtered the noise out first. So think about it. You don't want to amplify the noise. You want to remove the noise and then amplify the good clean signal. So you can still see the difference, right? There's a, there's just some noise in here. So still a little bit of rumble where if you come in and filter it properly right away, it's nice and quiet. Good. Mo that my friends is the power of using the noise removal tool along with Levelator, both free tools. If you have questions or comments, send them to me. I would love to have your feedback. I'd love to be able to do more examples like this because I love audio. I hope this helps. Let me know what you think. Have a great day.